smoke, all you do is drink late, all you do is pop ass. You know what I tell them? I got drug habits. Mama say she hope that I don't be a drug addict. No, no, no. Cause I got drug habits. Pop a perk and said it have a nigga itching. Then I pop another perk and said when I'm done scratching. I fell in love with Cody. I'm addicted. If you ask me, did the drugs take over me? I'ma tell you I'm a victim. I was 12 years old when I first called myself Trying to smoke on some weed At the age of 19 is when I first called myself Falling in love with Codeine Pop my first Percocet at the age of 23 That motherfucker was 7 years older than me FBG Duck Arguably one of Chicago's best rappers Will you consider his vocal ability, uh, lyrical ability, songwriting ability, and uniqueness? Uh, Duck's candidness on social media uh, is also very entertaining. Duck initial recordings was for mixtapes uh, that launched what would become a successful career as a recording artist in the drill subgenre of hip hop. Duck early in his career had songs with Lil JoJo uh, and Pappy. Uh, I believe the only songs released thus far with Duck and any major established artist is with 21 Savage uh, before Ruger uh, and Lil' Chris. Uh, But Duck's breakout came with the release of Sly, uh, which gained him immense attention. Uh, Sly to date has over 74 million views on YouTube. Uh, So that's not counting uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, other uh, digital platforms uh, where music is electronically distributed. This is a real nigga party, you cannot get in. Hey. Busting out the me, phoning them out the zen. Hey. I can shake your hand. Hey. No, I'm not your friend. Hey. I don't fuck with rappers. No, no I'm not a fan. Hey. Damn. Damn, niggas really shoot no accident. I can't make this shit up. I, I cannot pretend. Damn. Damn. Damn, and I heard you know who shot your man. You ain't trying to slash, so don't be acting like you is. Cause if you go slash, now, Duck also excelled in another area, um, which is competitiveness. Uh, Hip hop uh, is a very competitive sport. Uh, it's always, uh, you know, had beefs uh, and diss songs. Um, where uh, in hip hop, uh, you know, to make a mark of your opponent is nothing new. However, in drill, uh, you know, to make a mark of your opponent uh, sometimes comes at, at the expense of uh, deceased friends uh, and family of your opponent. Uh, and Duck and Ruga uh, exhibited uh, their skills in doing that here on Exposing Me Remix. Hit from the back of the seat. Damn, the back of the seat. He tried to get up from the back of the seat. They left his head in the back of the seat. Bird? Who you murdered? Who you? Tom about you flipping shit. What? A bird? Boy, you nerd. You ain't never shot no one in purse. You niggas bitches. Where y'all purses? Man, you niggas went and died y'all hell on purpose. But was it worth it? How that's working? Man, I wouldn't be surprised if they start twerking. Uh, 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 Total stay in tune, bitch. I'm uh, working. Uh, 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 please don't think shit chicken. This ain't turks. Uh, tired of putting niggas in these hearse. Uh, I should get a million for these hearse. Uh, <laughs> oh, photo grade. Now, Duck was also very unique, uh, being that uh, just as fast as Duck uh, could be competitive uh, and disrespectful, make a diss song. Uh, Duck. Uh, in the drill culture, I believe thus far is the only artist to actually big up their opponent uh, and actually uh, show respect to a deceased member of of the uh, you know the rival side, uh, which he did in Chicago Legends. Okay, enough with 
with the bro ties. Nah, I ain't crossing over, bitch, I'm not a bow tie. But, but I made this track to be fair, it's only right that I talk about both sides. So now we gon' talk about news, talk about. But I barely knew him like that. But I heard he kept the strap. I mean that with no disrespect. Can't forget about Fredo either. Big business man tried to keep it legal. Stand up nigga, he fed his people. Hell no, I ain't talking pizza. Gotta talk about LA cause he a legend too. I ain't big rap, just thinking ahead of you. All of them legends, who could you compare them to? Trying to show the bad in you, it's a better. Yeah, and to be clear, uh, Chicago Legends was released after uh, Exposing Me Remix. But yeah, Duck um, actually did a lot of features with Lil Chris, uh, who is a fellow Chicago uh, artist and producer uh, from the West Side. Uh, you know, Duck, uh, I guess, felt comfortable around Lil Chris, uh, according to an interview that I did see with Lil Chris, how he spoke on how they met, you know, the initial meeting uh, with them. I believe it was through a third party, Mikey Dollars, uh, and then Duck. Duck's, uh, excuse me, Duck's comfortability with Lil' Chris, uh, you know, led to them establishing a relationship with Duck. Did a lot of recording uh, with Lil' Chris. Uh, a lot of songs are Lil' Chris songs featuring Duck and Duck featuring Lil' Chris and vice versa, uh, which they were a good match as well. Uh, you know, that, like, like I say, Duck being an underdog did what he could, okay, when he could. Okay, uh, you know, when, when he found producers, when he found comfortability uh, where he can, you know, exhibit his talent safely. Uh, and him and Lil Chris uh, had a slew of songs, all quality songs. You got some business to stand on. Talking about, talking about money, we been on it. I was going to buy my pops a new range rover, but he told me he didn't want it. They think a nigga don't care Cause I spent 30,000 inside of Gucci And I don't need wear the shit I, I know this shit so embarrassing L.O. with money, I married it Hell yeah, I was broke before now Up, bitch, I'm a cherish I just might go and get the AMG bands Like, fuck it, fuck it Show 30 racks on the ground They was pissed, wait till I show them a honey, bitch Money! I drippin' number designer shit How about that? Yeah, so Duck had uh, a lot of range. Uh, Duck had a lot of different talents and abilities to make different uh, types of song. Uh, you know, Lil Chris, uh, I believe, helped bring a lot of that talent out as far as different ranges, uh, making different types of songs. Uh, you know, in the city of Chicago, uh, which is in Los Angeles, New York, or even now Atlanta, which are entertainment-based uh, cities, you know, um, so Duck... Uh, you know, did what he could. Early on, Duck had, uh, you know, diss back and forth with E-Day of 600 uh, and Chief Keef. Uh, you know, Duck went later on to have rivals such as King Von, Lil Durk. You know, a lot of these artists, artists are major uh, and are signed to, uh, to companies and have comp major companies distributing them. Uh, but like I say, uh, Duck uh, still uh, proved to be a very formidable opponent. Uh, uh, which he showed uh, once he released Dead Bitches. Heard about Jake Money? Yeah. Niggas getting dead the same way. <laughs> Bitch, don't play with gang. You don't want Lil Bro in your gang way. I know you heard about Lil Boo. Yeah. <laughs> they left his shit by a tight. <laughs> Bullets was hitting him. He was singing like Mariah. Yeah, you heard about Show Rod. Uh, uh, I know that hurt the heart. Uh, he probably walking, listening to his iPod. Yeah, you heard about Lil Steve. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that too. But fuck him though, he a pack too. Bitch. If we ever said it's up that bitch, I swear to God we mean it. We already in hell, bitch, since 12 we been demons. Ever since I signed the deal, all these bitches on my penis. Mm -hmm. Boy, you ain't gonna squeeze it, you around for no reason. <laughs> Boy, what block you from? Let us know so we can spin it. <laughs> Made Chicago legend shit, that was just about business. <laughs> said I won't go this to dead. Okay, I did it. But nigga, fuck T Roy and OD them dead bitches. Not for real, fuck them niggas. All my ops, bitch. Now, on August 4th, 2020, uh, FBG Duck, uh, known as Carlton Weekly, was murdered. Uh, so rest in peace uh, to Duck. Uh, Duck is an artist uh, that, that I was rooting for. I, I wanted to see this brother, you know, win and do something. Uh, you know, rise up out of the ashes. 
But, you know, uh, Duck had so much talent. Uh, Duck had songs like OK, which uh, had positive messages in them. Uh, you know, uh, it was it was motivational songs, you know, drug habits. Uh, where Duck's actually able to connect with the young people, with the youth, uh, you know, that are going through those things uh, using different drugs. You know, Duck had a way of connecting, like I say, especially on his social media. Uh, you know, and one sad thing is the fact that it seems Duck still remained an underdog in death. Uh, the reason why I say that, because in the Woodline community, where both him and King's Vine's uh, neighborhood was, uh, King Von does have a mural. Uh, Duck doesn't have a mural. Uh, you know, I say that because, you know, the facts are uh, that King Von was actually attacking someone when he was murdered. Uh, and still, rest in peace to King Von. Uh, Duck was out buying gifts for his child. Uh, so, yes, yeah, society uh, and community... Uh, you know, people sometimes need to, uh, you know, give honor uh, where honor is due. Uh, yeah, but it definitely uh, was an honor here highlighting uh, this young brother, uh, FBG Duck, uh, who's definitely a musical underdog. Daddy, you made that? You made that? I got a hundred thousand on me in the studio right now, no cows. Made this for the people who feel hopeless. 